Hi guys, welcome to another Learning Electronics Repair video. Have a HP laptop here. This belongs to the same hotel who had the uh, faulty amplifier and the outdoor speakers. They actually use this to play music around the pool and for karaoke. And the guy there, oh, a couple of weeks ago, was showing me with this that when he connects a HDMI cable to the TV. He's not getting a picture of this. He's not seeing a second screen, which means they can't use it for the karaoke. Previously, he said as soon as you plugged it in, it did see the second screen. So we tried a couple of HDMI cables, a couple of different TVs, and it wouldn't see them. So he asked me if I would look at that. He has a spare laptop he could use his own from home, take it to work. And I was down there the other day, he asked me to call, and he says the laptop now isn't working at all. So I went to pick it up because of the problem with HDMI, only to find that when I'm there, in actual fact, he says it's dead. And we can see it's not doing anything. I'm pressing the power button, it's not actually doing anything. This is an Intel i3, by the way, and um, I'm sure it will have a model number. Let's have a look, what is it? Yeah, it's this one, HP ProBook 450G2. I think I've looked at one of these before, not from the same place. I'm sure I've actually looked at one of these before. So let's have a look to see what's going on. He gave me the power supply with it. So let's first see if the power supply is working. I have the original power supply with it. I mean, we should just check first of all. Is the power supply working? I mean, maybe the battery's flat on the laptop as well. So we can just check this. Let's see what we have. And yeah, we have 20 volts coming out of it. So we can plug the power supply in. Let's just see if that makes any difference. Any lights on this? A little light on the front. Nothing lighting up. Looks like there's a little light down by the power connector. That's not lighting up either. And it's not starting. It is possible there's a problem with the power supply in as much as it's failing under load. Now, I don't specifically mean there's a short on the input which is shorting this out, which is possible. But the fact it's going off when there's a load. Well, if it is, it's coming back when the load goes away. I'm sure I have a spare one, so we can try the spare and see whether that works. Otherwise, I could just connect it to my bench power supply and see what current it's drawing. That would probably give us some good indication as to what is going on with it. I didn't have another one, not the right size. Not even on my universal one do I have one the right size. But I do have a connector taken at some point off a scrap one. And this will be useful. So we can connect this to the uh, bench power supply, set it to 19 volts. Not only will this tell us we've definitely got power going into the laptop, but by looking at the current it's drawing, probably give us some useful information as well, actually, about what we might have here. So I'll connect that up. I'll get the camera where you can see the bench supply. Now let's have a look. Right, there's the bench power supply where you can see it. Just have to move the laptop slightly. Let's connect this up. Well, it doesn't draw anything. So there's no short there. Let's try and turn this on. No, it appears to be effectively open circuit. It's not drawing any power at all. Nothing, nada, zero. So we're going to have to open this up and have a look to see what we've got inside, see what's happening with it. So I have it apart, um, a lot of dust and kind of corrosion in here. This is what we get from these hotels right by the sea. Um, it's corrosion on the VGA connector, not really so much on the HDMI, but this is kind of like grubby, yeah, I want to clean. But that probably doesn't explain why it's not powering up. This is the power connector we've got coming in here. So it's separate from the main board. The cable runs underneath this one. This must be the, uh, yeah, to the screen. So that's the battery connection. So it kind of, 
Yeah, I think it goes in here, you know, or is this the fan? I think I'm probably going to have to take the motherboard out to actually see where it goes. Let me just see if I can figure it. So this is the fan assembly. This is the... Yeah, it goes under here. So I'm going to have to get this motherboard out anyway to figure out where that's actually going to. I've disconnected the screen. I've got the fan out. This is basically sand, really. Um, we have the battery coming in as well. I'd be interested... No, I'll check later. I just wonder if there's any charge in the battery as well on this. Um, but before we mess around with that, let's just get this motherboard out. And here we have it. So the power comes in here. Cable kind of looks okay. Let's zoom down a little bit and let's see what we've got. Okay, so you can see the uh, power supply. I'll just get everything ready. We have a heat wave here still, by the way. It's, we've had a heat wave now since middle of June. It's now August. Yeah, a week into August. And we still have a heat wave. Still well over 30. Still, you know, 20 on at night minimums. And uh, we don't have a drought coming. <laughs> it makes me laugh because being native of the UK, now I kind of, kind of observe it from a safe distance. It's like... It amazes me. I mean, like, you know, the place is full of bloody rain and they have droughts. I mean, come on, we have like four inches of rain, less than four inches of rain a year here down in the south of Grand Canaria. I mean, put that into context, right? I mean, like, Phoenix, Arizona is known as a desert city and that has 12 inches of rain. That's four times as much as we have. <laughs> but we don't have a drought. Because, like the UK, we are an island surrounded by sea, yeah? So, what can be so difficult about that? Anyway, witter than set the world right a bit more, or wrong. Uh, let's have a look to see what voltage you have coming into this. Just get my hand around the camera. So, well, we have two and a half volts. Oh, that's the battery connector, sorry, my mistake. We have 19.3 volts coming in. So we have power coming in. This will be the... Oh, that's 5 volts on that one, interestingly. Huh? That has 5 volts on it. So there's some interesting voltages around here. 4 point something. So there's power coming into it. We can see for certain it's got power coming in. And it's actually now drawing a little bit of power. Uh, 10 milliamps, so... Let me see if I can find the on-off switch and see if it wants to power up or not. I've just unscrewed the uh, start switch from the case. I mean, I really should learn which pin to ground on these to start them, but it's just as easy to do this, I find. So we'll do that. We'll put the power back on again. We have 10 milliamps. And it starts now. Well, that's interesting because... Yeah. There's lights flashing everywhere, yeah, it's drawing power. I wonder if we get a picture if we put a VGA on it. Well, I don't see a picture just by attaching it, but maybe if I take the power off, put the power back on again, start it again, we might do, let's see. So hit the button, fan spins and stops. We don't get anything on the monitor, but we do get a light. Yeah, there's a light, a light on here, which there wasn't before. And I have seen some lights come on down by the power socket as well. Let's go again. Yeah, you can see it down there. I'll show you. Okay, it says VGA, no signal, but the blue light's on the monitor. Let's go again. Little touch of the fan. Yeah, nothing on the monitor. But it's drawing a bit of power, so something's obviously working. Again, you see it. Let's try disconnecting the power. Disconnecting the CMOS battery. Hold the power switch in for a minute. And then see if it starts. See if it's one of these ones with a locked up super IO, basically. So let me push this back, it probably comes out. Not easily it doesn't, but yeah, it does with a bit of persuasion. 
so I'll leave that a few minutes. This is actually dirty or mort. I'll check the CMOS battery while we're waiting for that just to see what it reads. Okay. I'm sure I needed to dismantle this anyway because for some reason the HDMI isn't working. Okay, we're on volts. Yeah, CMOS battery's good. Okay, so we'll press and hold in the power button with no power attached, no battery, no power. CMOS battery off there. Then we give it about a minute. And let's see then if we put the CMOS battery back in if it starts up. Okay, I held the button in for over a minute. So we can again try to power this up and see what it does. So that flashed and went out. Again, drawing 10 milliamps. Hmm, and now it doesn't seem to want to start at all. Ah, put the CMOS battery back in. Okay, let's go again. Power. Yep, fan comes on, goes off. But I don't get anything on the monitor from the VGA. Let's sort of put it partially back together so we can connect the screen and see. I mean, this is lit up and on. We could be like uh, down to a corrupted BIOS like the last one. Ah, and while we waited, we have a picture. CMOS checked on is invalid. So we now basically have it working. It looks like it was a locked up Super IO or something. That's gone back off, but I'm not too worried about that. It looks like, yeah, it's restarting again. It's doing the sequence again. Um, let's put it back together. Let's see what's happening with the other problem. So I get the keyboard on. I can sort of reset the BIOS setting effectively, the CMOS. And then let's see if the VGA is working. Sorry. Let's see if the HDMI is working, because that's the other problem. Yeah, it's trying to boot now anyway. Okay, let's give that a go. So, I have it in Windows now, so I can get into Windows, but when I attach the HDMI, I'll just show you where the monitor is. So we just unplug the HDMI, plug it back in again. I get a blue light on the monitor, but it says HDMI, no signal, and goes off. Now, I've noticed that the USB is a little bit dodgy. I've got a USB mouse plugged in at the moment. I previously had a USB keyboard plugged in, but I couldn't enter the password because basically it was entered with a Spanish layout keyboard and I have an English layout plugged in keyboard. <laughs> so I've got the keyboard attached. I can now get past that bit. So the main problem is now that I don't have, and this was the original fault before it kind of went dead. So I plugged the cable in again. Blue light comes on in the monitor in the corner. Yeah. HDMI, no signal. 